The United Nations General Assembly in New York is an important staging post on the way to the COP26 climate change summit, which is being held in Glasgow later this year. At the summit, we're told the focus will be on coal, cars, cash and trees. And today it's cash in the spotlight. That's because back in 2009, rich countries pledged to give $100 billion per year from 2020 to support poorer nations as they adapt to the effects of climate change. But that target has been missed. The most recent OECD report estimates that only $79.6 billion in public and private funding has been delivered so far. America had taken some of the blame for that, promising just $5.7 billion a year, which critics said was nowhere near enough given the size of its economy. But now, America has promised to double its annual contribution to over 11 billion, potentially encouraging other nations who might have been holding back to do the same. The US now joins the UK, which has pledged to deliver around $3 billion a year over the next five years as a climate leader in finance funding. Why does all of this matter so much? Well, the COP26 climate meeting is just weeks away and developing countries like Indonesia and others have said they are willing to consider tougher carbon emissions targets, but only if they are funded as promised. To them, it's a matter of trust and good faith. It may be just a number, but that 100 billion really matters.